stand behind or in front of this wood thing? Right here, right there. Yeah. Right here. Right here. because your dress is not going to come all the way here, so I stand on that side. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today we thank you for letting us come together and be a part of this great union called marriage. We ask, you, Lord, your blessing upon them. Thank you for those who are here. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. We want to welcome everyone today. Thank you for joining us and celebrating such a joyous occasion for Giovanna and Rolando Hernandez. On behalf of the Hernandez family, we want to thank you for taking time uh, to be a part of this. And this is very special for them. On this day, Rolando and Giovanna will make a covenant with each other and before God. Marriage is an institution, a divine appointment that God has made and commended as honorable among all people. In this estate, too, people come and are joined. And if anyone be present that can show cause why there may not be a lawful joining of these two, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Amen. God created the world and us. 
He created the seas and he created the trees and the birds and vegetation and the animals. But his final creation, his masterpiece was man. God made man so much like himself that he put everything under his feet. He gave man dominion. He made man in his image. He gave him authority. After every creative day, God looked at it and said it was good. After God created the firmaments, he said it was good. The greater lights, the lesser lights, he said it was good. The vegetation, the fish, the beasts, it was all good. There was only one thing that God said it was not good. He said it was not good for man to be alone. So God caused man to fall into a deep sleep. This, this was a deep sleep. And just uh, as a note, they say that when God caused man to be in a deep sleep, he formed women. So we can probably think that's why we have a hard time understanding women. We were asleep during the whole time. Later, God tells us that man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh, one. Only in God's mind does one plus one equal one. Only in God's mind are we complete and when we join with our spouse, we are complete. You are both complete each other and are complete with each other. As you live life, you are not there to compete. You are there to complete. You are to complement each other and not to con uh, condemn each other. We need to be very careful with our words because our words can build each other up or can tear each other down. Words are very, very powerful, very powerful. There are marriages that are broken because of what we say, what we insinuate. You can encourage your spouse or you can destroy them. You can make them feel indestructible or you can make them feel worthless. You can build them up or you can decimate them all by the power of our words. We're here so that you guys understand that you're supposed to enjoy each other's company. Respect one another, both privately and publicly. You respect each other both privately and publicly. You respect each other at home when no one's around and yet in front of people when everyone's around. And last but not least, you honor God. Your commitment to God should remain strong. You strive to serve the Lord with all of your strength, individually and jointly. There'll be times when you'll be discouraged. You have to encourage each other. There'll be times when you will be discouraged and you have to encourage each other. And there's a little secret I wanna share with you and that is this, that marriages that seek God become stronger. Because those who pray together stay together. The closer we get to God, the closer God joins us. The further we get from God, the more separate we become. This may be a silly illustration, but uh, the engine light on my car turned on and I didn't know who to take it. And I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna take it to the dealership. It just makes sense. When I got there, they told me, this is exactly what's wrong, this, that, and this. And I never would have figured that out. Then I started realizing that the reason why they knew it because they created it. And in times when we have problems, there is open access to our creator. There's times when you're not going to understand him and you're not going to understand her and we need to pray and ask God. And then God gave us an awesome resources. And those are called our parents. They have gone through many things, experienced life, and they are a wealth of resource for us. So today, I encourage you to seek God. Strive to serve the Lord with all of your strength. Encourage each other 
and love God with everything that you have. Happiness is found in Him. He is what is missing in many marriages. But with Him, all things are possible. I, I mentioned to Brother Roland that I would not take too long today. But I do want to point out uh, something very uh, simple and or maybe more for Sister Giovanna is that um, her last name will not change. Everybody already got that. And so uh, IDs and everything will pretty much remain the same. This is very unique and very awesome. On a personal note, I want to thank God for the privilege of letting me be able to marry you all as a fine young man and a young lady. A time that I've known you, very responsible and very uh, loving towards the things of the Lord. And I want to congratulate you both for how you conducted yourself and how you honored God. So I wanted to thank you all publicly. Now we're going to ask um, the couple, they have a candle that they want to light. So as we see them light this candle, we're going to have some music. them read their vows. Dear Jerome, it's been an unforgettable journey. As hard as it seems, I never imagined being here. But today I can say, I am blessed beyond belief. From the moment, from the moment we spoke to each other on that Valentine's night a year ago, I knew there was something special about you. I walked through the doors of Antonio's apartment that night and sat right next to the person I had been praying to God for all those years. His timing was perfect, and I'm, I'll never question it again. For years, I wondered if I would ever meet the woman everyone would say God was preparing for me. Well, God made it clear that night that you were that woman. I remember that every night before I would go to bed, I would pray to the Lord for a woman of character and integrity who would be beautiful, not just from the outside, but also from the inside. And we talked the night away, professing her love to serving our church's ministries. So much so that by the time it was time to go home, neither was wanting to leave. I drove home that night all, and all I could think about was, was you. You lived in Humble, and I lived near Missouri City, which is a 44-minute drive. I remember driving to Humble, not caring how far the drive was, and not caring how much I spent on gas. It was, even though I was driving a Jeep, like a Wrangler, and I was spending like $60 every two days. You know, I didn't, I didn't care, I just wanted to see you. And I, when I, I just wanted to see you and I, I couldn't, when I couldn't drive to Humble, I loved that you would drive to my job or close enough so that we could see each other every day and we never miss a day. I love you, Joanna Cecilia. And I love that no matter how difficult things might seem, you always make the best out of these moments. You're worthy of the best, and I promise that no matter the distance, I'll always be there for you. And that no matter how hard things get, I will be there by your side, standing, weathering whatever storm comes our way. I bow to always put Jesus in the middle of our marriage, because he is what will sustain us. I pray for wisdom and guidance as your husband and future father of your kids. I love you. <laughs> okay. I vow to respect you above anything else. I wish that I could promise you 
his wife, but we both know they can't be. But because we serve and love a perfect God, our marriage will always be filled with his joy. His love will help us conquer every obstacle. Roland, meeting you came out of nowhere. And it was so funny because it was on Valentine's Day. And I hated that little part for a little bit. But I think that's just God being humorous. But getting to see how you love me, I know that that's just God's grace. And now I know God's grace in such a different way. And so I just want to love you. I want to be with you. I want to take care of you. And I'm really excited. And I won't say more because I don't want to cry. I love you. Rolando Hernandez, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife and promise before God and these witnesses to love her? to comfort her, to cherish her, to honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping thee only unto her, so as long as you both shall live. I do. Giovanna Cecilia Hernandez, do you take this man to be your lawful husband? Do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, respect, Encourage, keep in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping thee only unto him, so as long as you both shall live. I do. All right. By the power vested in me and by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I'm going to ask everyone to stand. I would like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Hernandez. Spirit. 
15 de mayo de 1990, fue cuando nació este hombre. En ese momento yo tenía 10 años y estaba bien feliz. Decía yo, voy a tener un hermanito. Y finalmente vino. Pasaron los años y dije, oh, tengo un hermano, un hombre que quiere dormir conmigo todos los días. Y este, siempre me seguía, me buscaba. Y en ese entonces, pues yo estaba yo era un joven y no, pues a veces lo, lo, no quería jugar con él. Ahora yo quisiera que jugara conmigo. Y así que si tienen hermanitos o lo que sea, pues aprovechenlos, porque son una bendición y él me enseñó a ser también un papá porque cuando él estaba chico fueron tiempos difíciles en nuestra casa y discúlpenme pero hubo tiempo que yo a veces tuve que ser como su papá y le doy gracias a Dios porque él me enseñó a ser papá para que me preparó para, para poder ser papá de cuatro niños, de cuatro niños hermosos. Y este, pues nada más le doy gracias a Dios por tenerlo en mi vida. Y te llevas a un hombre, a un hombre verdaderamente de Dios y un hombre bueno. Porque Disculpenme. Um, puedo haber hecho cosas. Nosotros vivíamos en una área que, que no, no era muy buena. Puedo haber tomado esos pasos y no los tomó. Él siempre se llevó fuera de fue derecho. Es un, es un hombre de veras de respeto. Un hombre de derecho y te llevas a un buen hombre. Y este, te quiero dar unas. También este, unas uh, un poco de, de aliento para que puedas sobrellevar el matrimonio y solamente te voy a decir que, 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 que tomes esta, uh, este advice, disculpen. Uh, cuando ella te diga, cuando, cuando Giovanna te diga algo, nada más di, sí amor. <risa> no, no me resuelves porque si no, esto no se ha Uh, si, si te dice que ella tiene la última palabra, tú di que sí. <risa> y es que todo va a estar bien. Uh, cuando, cuando tenga uh, ganas de, de algo en la noche, cuando tenga bebé, porque van a venir los bebés primero de Dios. Hey, lo quiero, bro. Ve a verlo porque va a ser una mujer feliz y, y este. Te lo digo porque tengo una mujer maravillosa que también me dio a Dios y, y espero que ustedes tengan una, una vida muy maravillosa como sus papás de ustedes, mis papás y, mis pap y, y yo y mi esposa. Uh, también en nombre de todos los casados aquí te doy la bienvenida al Club de los Casados. Y gracias, diviértanse, bendiciones a todos, que tengan buen día. Que Dios me diga este matrimonio por siempre. En nombre de Cristo Jesús. Muy buenas noches a todos, señores. Les, uh, les pido disculpas por los errores que yo cometa al hablarle a esta pareja de, de novios recién casados. Yo me presento ante ustedes, mi nombre es Francisco Hernández y pido que me disculpen mis errores al hablarles referente al matrimonio de Orlando de Giovanna que hoy vamos a presentarles. Hoy del matrimonio Hernández les hago este comentario. Felizmente se han casado ante el Señor Soberano recibiendo bendiciones que por su gracia han ganado. Es Rolando y es Giovanna, los jóvenes contrayentes que han pactado un compromiso ante el Dios Omnipotente, han hecho este juramento de respeto mutuamente. 
Se ha jurado amor eterno ante el altar del Señor. Y esperemos que ellos cumplan su juramento de honor para que su matrimonio perdure con paz y amor. Ellos son los dos cristianos que se han entregado al Señor, sirviendo su ministerio con respeto y mucho amor, siempre atrayendo las almas a los pies del buen pastor. Rolando es mi tercer hijo en mi familia dichosa, hijo también de Lupita, mi preciosa y fiel esposa, y estamos los dos felices de haber criado este varón con los que el Señor se goza. En este día tan dichoso de la boda, de su boda ya esperada, felicidades Rolando, felicidades Giovanna, que se la pasen felices en su boda tan soñada. Toda la familia entera les desea felicidades, sus hermanos, sus hermanas, amistades y sus padres, y que el Señor los bendiga con un matrimonio estable. Y sus padres de Giovanna, Eduardo y Doña Cecilia, se encuentran agradecidos por su asistencia este día y festejando la boda de Giovanna y de Rolando, rebosantes de alegría. Hoy este día los mariachis con canciones melodiosas complacerán a los novios con canciones muy hermosas por ser el día más soñado de esta parejita hermosa. Y el sonido de esta noche también tocará canciones especial para los novios honrando las peticiones que le haga cada persona alegrando, alegrando corazones. Demos gracias al Señor por, mi, por permitir esta boda y ponemos en sus manos a Rolando y a Giovanna y hay que darles un aplauso a estos esposos que se aman. Gracias.
it was just forever for us. Um, se pasaron muy, muy lentamente, so gracias a todos ustedes. Thank you to, to my family, to my sister, to my brother, to Thomas, um, who came down from North Carolina um, to be here with us. Thank you um, to, to Francisco and, and Lupita. Um, a Francisco y Lupita, muchas gracias. Eh, por el amor que tienen hacia mí, este, yo estoy muy contenta y I'm really excited about the new family that I now have. Um, thank you to my dad. Just, there's so too many people I could talk forever, so I won't. Um, but thank you, los amamos, los queremos, I love you guys. Yo sé que hay personas aquí que no conozco, pero, eh, pero I'm excited to meet everybody and to get to, um, to grow our family, so thank you guys. Buenas tardes, Padre de Cristo. Buenas noches, tal vez ya para muchos. Este, bueno, le estamos dando gracias porque nos están acompañando. Todavía falta mucho por el party. Se va a acabar aquí como hasta las 10 y media, 11 de la noche. Solo nos estamos despidiendo. Les queremos que se queden todos. Al rato va a venir una sorpresa. Este, quiero darle gracias a Dios primeramente porque por la salud de mía y de, de mis hijos. Este, Giovanna es la, es la mayor y era que decidió casarse al último. Parece que se pusieron de acuerdo y fue a todo al revés. Sí, sí, sí me escuchan todos hasta atrás. ¿Ya? Pero bueno, Giovanna decidió uh, al último casarse y esperarla primero, después Cristian. Pero estamos muy agradecidos porque confiamos en Dios y confiamos que las decisiones de ellos son las correctas. A nosotros como padres solo nos queda orar por ellos y pues desearles y aconsejarles también para que les vaya bien en la vida. Este, yo recuerdo, estaba recordando que hace unos cuantos años ya, cuando no sé si yo nos casamos, ella me comentó, ¿sabes qué? Me gustaría tener seis hijos y yo dije, sí, eso no va a pasar. So, parece que sí, su deseo se le cumplió, ahora tenemos seis, este, tres, uh, tres muchachas y tres muchachos. Llegaron un poco tarde los últimos tres, pero bueno, al menos nos tocó criarlos, so, por ese lado eh, creo que fue mejor. Este, nuevamente, muchas gracias por, por estar aquí y, y sigan en la fiesta. Dios les bendiga.
guys hear me. So, we wish you the best. We wish you many blessings. We already know that you're going to put God first in your life. So the next thing to tell you is to never quit, never give up on each other. Uh, I hope that you see each other today, 50 years from now, in the same light that you see each other today. Uh, because if you do, um, you guys are going to be beautiful to each other. Y'all are beautiful to me, y'all are beautiful to your family, to your parents, um, to everybody who loves you. So we wish you the best, safe travels. Um, don't spend it all in one place. Uh, and watch out for the jellyfish. Okay. All right. Congratulations. A big round of applause for the round of applause. Only God gives true happiness. Because the kind of happiness the world offers is temporary. And God's happiness and joy is everlasting, like His love. And that's the kind of love that He wants a wife to have for her husband and a husband to have for his wife. I hope that when times get tough, that you guys can rely on God, not your friends. There's a third party in marriage that's always going to be God. He comes first. He comes before your wife, before your husband. And the world will tell you that's not right, but it is. If you put him first, then you're going to have it all. There's no riches that are worth the time with your family. When you have kids, you, you'll learn that the hard way if you don't listen. Today, I learned that the hard way. There's no job that's worth your time with your kids or with your husband. Never put your dog before your family. And never go to sleep angry. The Bible says it. A lot of people ignore it, but it's the truth. No matter how big an argument you think and how angry you might get, don't go to sleep angry. Go to each other. And if only just to go to sleep, make up. You can be angry all over again the next morning. But don't go to sleep angry. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Because I feel like I will really fall more than his sister. My brother said before, my mom worked a lot. And my dad was, he was a workaholic. And we hardly ever saw him. But we, I know now as a parent that he didn't do that because he was a bad parent. He was a good parent. He did the best that he knew. And you guys are going to do the best that you can do. You have a guy. We didn't. We didn't know Christ. When we were kids, our parents didn't know Christ. But you know him. You, your guy is the Bible. Go to it. When you're lost, read it. That is your guy. No one is ever going to give you a better advice. So, that's the best advice I can give you. Because sometimes I sit at night I read my Bible when I feel lost. So please, don't forget to read your Bible. No matter how busy life is, because you will get busy. Don't forget that your relationship with God comes first. And I love you guys so much. I have prayed over you guys night after night. Because I love Roland like a son, and I love you like a daughter now. You're not just my sister. You're my daughter. You're part of our family. And I want you to know that you're in my prayers all the time. Small or big, all of your happiness is our happiness. And your sadness will always be our sadness, too. So when we celebrate, we'll celebrate together. And when it's time to cry, we'll cry together, too. I love you, and God bless you always, always. And your kids, too. We can't wait.
te lo puedo decir. No sé ni de este cuarto llegaste de repente, mi corazón empieza a notar. Te quiero mi hermosa y te entiendo en esta rosa, la vida que te pueda llevar. Hoy gracias al cielo, por haberte conocido, por haberte conocido. Hoy gracias al cielo, y te encuentro las estrellas, como vida que sentí, como vida que sentí, para que te conocí. Te adoro y te veo, te quiero y te adoro, cariño verdadero me quiero a ti amar. Hoy gracias al cielo, por haberte conocido, por haberte conocido, hoy gracias al cielo. Ya no existen los poemas para conquistarse. Ahora se manda todo lo que ya no existe tu corazón. Pero me llevo a recordarme es mi manera. Pero no pienso que quiera amarte a la antigua, entregarte mi vida. Thank you.
Eres justo como te estoy, tú no sabes cuánto te espero. 